I'm Tom Williams, and speaking of acronyms, I represent a regional collaborative in California called IHA, the Integrated Healthcare Association. And thank you. Uh, much like the uh, folks who have spoken before me, we are a group, multi stakeholder group. We're actually organized in the 90s during the California managed care wars when the medical society and the hospital association and the uh, health plans were facing off. And we needed a place where we could all come together, put the sword down, and try to work together to improve quality and cost. And that's what we've been up to since then. And much like those who have spoken before me, we're also uh, very much engaged in performance measurement. Uh, since 2003, we have been aggregating data from eight health plans uh, and 200 physician groups, the clinical data from the physician groups and the administrative from the plans, mashing it together and measuring and then reporting. Uh, but really what drives that work is the use of performance measurement, not just for public reporting, but for payment. And so since 2003, th those uh, results have been used for a paper performance plan, started out just with quality, now total cost of care, appropriate resource use into a value-based uh, uh, P4P program. And so what I want to talk about is uh, the combination of measurement and payment in another context, and that's a, a piece of work that we're doing around bundled payment. How many of you feel like you know, understand what bundled payment is? Okay, it's pretty good. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, it's really actually, uh, unlike most other things that we talk about, pretty simple. It's really sort of a sophisticated case rate. It's taking a condition, a uh, procedure or a, uh, um, a condition could be something like maternity, procedure like knee replacement, or a chronic care disease like diabetes. And rather than paying for each individual service, uh, you bundle those things together into a case rate. That can be, uh, and, and typically that's associated with a duration of time or an episode of care, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. So there's been a lot of discussion of bundled payment and uh, about its promise. And so this is early stage for us, really like the other collaborators of Incubator, where we try to get everybody together and actually try to do this. And I have to tell you, we've tried a lot of things. This one has been really hard, but we're making progress. So why do it? Why uh, bundle these things together? And really, uh, like the name Integrated Healthcare Association, it's about integrating these different components of care, that fragmented system, around a single patient in a single condition or procedure. And it really came to me why to do it. We were uh, interviewing orthopedic surgeons because we were looking to bundle orthopedic procedures. And we were interviewing sort of the superstar orthopedic surgeon at uh, Orange County Hospital. And he was describing how he gets all the tough cases. These are the, the cases that have to be redone, the revisions, where there was a problem. And I'll never forget, he said, within the first minute, of, he doesn't even have to look at the chart, talking to the patient, he knows who did the initial procedure. The glue didn't stick here, oh, that was so-and-so. The, uh, the fit wasn't right here, oh, that's so-and-so. So we said, wow, what do you do with that information? Well, we got the blah, 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 humana, humana, <laughs> you know, nothing. So that's one of the main reasons why we need to do this is that by Pulling these different components together and measuring, we can figure out what the heck's going on so people can be retrained. We understand uh, who has the high infection rate, the high envision, revision rate, and why. So quality is really the number one driver of bundled payment. But also there's a, a tremendous potential in terms of, of savings. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here, but there has been some good work done to validate the, the potential savings with bundled payment. And I, I'm going to stick with uh, knee replacement as my example. Uh, I just talked about the, the quality uh, proposition here. But the value prop proposition is very strong. Today, uh, consider Medicare. We pay the DRG for the inpatient. We pay the surgeon individually, et cetera, et cetera. There's no incentive for the surgeon to work together with the hospital, with a physical therapist, with a primary care doctor, to try to really coordinate that care, 
not only for quality, but for cost. So the cost of the implant is just one example, the actual device. Um, there's no incentive to try to be efficient there. But when these parties work together, they can, rather than uh, uh, the surgeons having consulting fees with a device company to use their device uh, primarily, they have an incentive to pick uh, a good device which is less expensive. So a lot of potential for savings and bundled payment. There's been a lot of activity. I'm not going to uh, go through all the examples, but uh, a recent, I can't remember now if it was GAO report or CBO, looked at 10 Medicare demonstration projects. And the one that they found the most um, potential for savings was bundled payment. Well, it's hard to get the different parts to work together. And where we're seeing a lot of success is the integrated systems like Kaiser and Geisinger. So there's some great examples. But the challenge here is to take this across a fragmented system uh, where we don't have that integration. And a, a payment mechanism uh, and a measurement mechanism is one way to bring those parties together. So we have two projects, and I'm just going to very briefly touch on them. And I'm not going to brag, and I'm not going to show you a lot of really neat charts with, with uh, great results, because we're really early into this. And one of the things that collaboratives can do is bring the parties together to try these things and to break that hard ground in the initial going. Um, uh, like uh, other collaboratives, we have a grant from ARC, a demonstration project, to test bundled payment in a multi-payer setting across multiple commercial, Medicare, and uh, managed Medicare providers. We're also a convener in the recent, uh, recently announced uh, CMMI uh, bundled, pa uh, bundled Payment Initiative, where we brought uh, multiple hospitals together to submit an application. And in the ARC, uh, we had uh, a number of deliverables. One was just to, to uh, define these episodes. And I'll, I'll touch on that. It's really hard work. And to get contracts in place between payers and hospitals uh, and surgeons and to actually try to see if we could make this happen. Uh, the, uh, the episode definition work uh, was really uh, informing and basically we got a bunch of people in the room, surgeons, hospitals, others, to try to decide how do we define the episode? What should be in and what should be out? And um, a lot of it is around uh, what risk the provider should take and not take. And so we've made a fair amount of progress, and I'm not going to go into detail, but when it's said and done, this work gets very detailed, deciding specifically which CPT code is in and what is out. And so we've been able to define uh, eight different uh, episodes in, in the areas that you can see here. Uh, we're working with another collaborative, PBGH, in California on maternity. Uh, there's a lot of interest in, man in Medicaid and the commercial for uh, maternity bundles. So we've learned a lot. Uh, this has been hard work. And one thing that we found is that when you have one commercial payer in one hospital in one procedure, your sample size gets really small. And suddenly, all the reason to do this sort of evaporates. So this really has to be a multi-payer uh, approach. And the volumes are a lot bigger in Medicare. So now that CMMI has weighed in, you're seeing a lot more activation among the hospitals. Uh, the claims payment systems don't do this. Uh, they just don't. Think about a, a PPO benefit package. You've got a deductible on the inpatient. You have a copay on physical therapy. The benefit package isn't lined up with the payment system. So we pulled in the commercial uh, uh, vendors, McKesson, MedAssets, Trizetto. They've now designed solutions for the payers and the hospitals to, to uh, to uh, adjudicate these bundles. Uh, reg the state regulatory uh, uh, system uh, doesn't support bundled payment. We've learned a lot, and uh, we're making po uh, progress on that front, but it, it, it's going to need to be worked out. So I'm not going to dwell on all these issues. I think the point that I want to make is that there's a real value to having a neutral convener bring the parties together, slog through this hard work, and begin, uh, and, and as progress is made, the lights go on, and you see more and more momentum. And, and I do believe that bundled payment will be an important solution. Um, and one of the neat things about the CMMI bundled payment is they're bringing in quality measurement uh, and patient uh, experience measurement and cost measurement. So I think we'll begin to, set, begin to see a defined standard set of measures 
um, as these bundles evolve. And so with that, uh, I'm not going to go through all this. It's just a bunch of detail on the CMMI. But um, other than to say that um, I think that the cultural, ex uh, the cultural change that we're trying to get to get this fragmented system to work together uh, really uh, seems to be enlivened when you have this good measurement and then you take that measurement and create a payment against it that aligns the incentives of the different players. And, and I do believe bundled payments are a great uh, example of that. And with that, I'm going to stop. Harold didn't pull me. Thank you. 